Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. Well, this week I'll be taking a look at an application I first started using when I was a PC user many, many years ago. Its current name is NeoFinder, but if you're old school like me, you may well remember it as CD Finder. Before we had cheap and plentiful hard drives, the only option you had to archive and offload data from your computer was CDs and DVDs. I had an extensive collection of archive disks back in the day, and CD Finder allowed you to catalogue your disks into a database and then search the database to find the files you wanted. Of course, now that we have huge and relatively cheap hard drives, it's so much easier to archive our data and keep it attached to your Mac at all times, if you want to. But NeoFinder offers a fantastic solution to keeping track of all your data, no matter where it's stored. So let's take a look at NeoFinder 8. With a nod to its origins, you'll find NeoFinder across over on cdfinder.de. Uh, now this is, uh, you can get various versions of NeoFinder. If I just go to store, there is a standard Mac private license for up to three Macs for $39.99, uh, uh, that's US dollars. There are also some business users as well. So if you want to have a, a business license, you can select this, there's also a site license as well. There's some additional features with the business license, which we'll probably have a look at uh, as we go through the tutorial. Uh, you can go ahead and upgrade from previous versions of NeoFinder and CD Finder if you're an existing user. You can also cross-grade from other products as well. Quite a few different similar products that you can cross-grade across from. Uh, there's also NeoFinder for iPhone and iPad, although I have to admit I haven't checked that out as of yet. Let me just pop that down. You do get access to a 30-day trial version, which is limited to just 10 what they call catalogues. And that is fine to uh, sort of give it a good run for its money, uh, check it out and see whether or not it's something for you. Now, to my mind, NeoFinder has four major strengths. Its ability to catalogue pretty much any volume, folder or file, uh, including uh, locally attached storage, network attached storage, basically anywhere where you store your files, you can catalogue them with NeoFinder. Uh, once you've catalogued your files, you can then organize them. Uh, you can create smart folders. You can go in and examine and supplement the metadata that's associated with your files within the NeoFinder database. Uh, thirdly, searching. It has a tremendously powerful and very fast searching engine, enabling you to go in and, and find the files that you want very, very quickly. And also photo management. Now, if you do tend to keep your photos in a folder structure on your hard drive, there are some excellent features within NeoFinder that makes managing your photos a breeze. Uh, but even if you have, or even if you use Apple Photos, you can still go in and examine those photos uh, using NeoFinder. And I'll show you how to do that later on. One extra thing to point out about photo management is it has some excellent GPS tagging features. But before we look at these in detail, let's have a look at the user interface of NeoFinder. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple-related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple-related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new, up-to-date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS-related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencasts Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, Visit ScreencastsOnline.com today and become a ScreencastsOnline member.